Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is day two of the 31 days of Halloween challenge. Um, we're gonna go on my first Halloween hunt today. Um, I've had a really, really bad rough morning and it just, I need some shopping therapy on my day off. So I have asked my mother if she wants to come with me to HomeSense, Winners, and Marshall, all in one plaza. They're literally next to each other. So we're gonna go to the big, big one that we actually like. Um, hopefully, we're gonna find things that are pastel themed, because that's what I'm trying to do. If not, we might have to do the traditional Halloween colors. I am missing a few things in my kitchen set and home decor. I'm also looking for things for my table to use as uh, setups for all year round display. I'm just gonna apply some lipstick and get my boots on and start heading over and I'm I'm really, really, really hoping we find some stuff. Cause I went there last time and I just, as you guys know, I bought mugs. Cause I need more mugs in my life. And I did a simple Halloween themed makeup today. I know I should probably do whatever I'm wearing, but I decided not to wear orange and black. I wanted to do all pastel, creepy cute, gore, kawaii gore, all that jazz. So let's head over. Not a lot of pastel stuff, however, I got a lot of stuff. Mostly for my shop, but that's okay. Oh look, it's Bones' twin brother. So I'm at Michael's. It's all pastel goth stuff. Um, I can't say no to this. Like, I have to get this. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any signage I want to put on my table. Like, there's plate. Like, I'm having a hard time designing. And then there's more behind me. Okay, so going to Marshall's, Home Sense, and Winners was kind of a flop for anything pastel because the only thing I did get that was pastel related was my purple pumpkin, which is this one. And I, I, I really like it. It's just, I wish the light was not white. I wish it was purple. However, I did stop by Michael's. Thank God I did that because they are releasing a pastel goth collection or Halloween in pastel colors and I am here for it. So I'm gonna show you what I got that is pastel related and then I'll show you the big haul that I got at Home Sense that's like traditional Halloween colors. Most of the stuff that I got today is for my craft shows, um, but I can kind of use it as home decor, but mostly for my craft shows. So I saw this hand and I was like telling my mom, like, what can I use this for? I really like it. It's the perfect shade of purple, but what do I use for? And she said, why don't you use it for your business cards? Like, isn't that cute? I just, just plop the business cards right on there. Like, I didn't think of it, but I really, really wanted it, so. Thanks mom for that idea. And then for little decorations for my coffin shelf that I'll be using, I got a little potion um, to go with that. I got like a really cute small pink pumpkin. And then for shits and giggles, cause why not? I got a mint green fuzzy skull, just like the pumpkin and the potion. And this one, I just can say no, but it might as well be part of my booth decor um you all know that i love coffin shaped things so i end up getting a pastel pink coffin which i said earlier when i got my first coffin shelf um i was thinking about getting another one in pink but i really like how 
I have this. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe like little knickknacks. Um, maybe some business cards. I, I honestly, I honestly don't know. I just, I just had to get it. So that is it for the pastel edition for my 31 days of Halloween challenge. We're going to work on to the traditional Halloween colors because I don't know. We haven't gotten it yet from like Marshall's Home Sense and Winners. I don't know if they've got to the the pastel side of things, but um, mostly what I saw was traditional and a little bit of pastel stuff. But here we go for my kitten collars because that's becoming a thing again. I got ribbon to go in the middle of my kitten collars, which is potions. And I ended up getting more candy corn because candy corn is such a huge deal. Not the same ribbon that I got, I've been using for my current kitten collars, but I like to have a little different designs. So I have a bowl that I use for like scrunchies, but um, I'm deciding to not use it anymore because no one really knows there's scrunchies in these bowls unless someone comes up to my table. So I decided to get this mesh spider web bowl where I could put a bunch of scrunchies and then there's like little hooks here that I can put it mounted somewhere and then have it drip like maybe necklaces or keychains. I have no idea, but this is definitely for my Halloween scrunchies. Now I've always wanted a two tier thing on my table for like, again, little knickknacks that I make, keychains, hair bows, discounted stuff, whatever. Um, I found this with a little skeleton hand on top and the bone two bones in the middle you got a mount at the bottom not too heavy and it's not too small i think it's adorable i just don't want everything lying on my table i want things in shelving so that's why i end up getting this all right in this big bag i saw this last year and i contemplated on getting it and then i kind of regret not getting it and by the time i wanted to get it it was gone so I got this pumpkin like noodle straw. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, but I definitely needed it for my spooky fall Halloween whatever kitchen, or I could put it in my bathroom because it's fall related. Couldn't say no. I, I felt bad not getting it and now I have it, so yeah. Last year I bought a lot of these air sealed ceramic like portion things and uh, I think one of them isn't even filled but like I use one for my sugar so ants or my sugar doesn't go bad because it's air sealed tight I've got one for my little tea bags in case I don't want to have coffee I know that's shocking sometimes I want to have tea so I found this one it's by Coco and Lola they, they are awesome And I'm all about the skulls, so I ended up getting this really cool crossbone air seal tight ceramic jar. That was the word I was looking for earlier. It's pretty spacious to go into my kitchen. Gabe's gonna come home and he's gonna be like, there's so many things in here. Now, um, I bought two little bowls and they were candy corn themed. I dropped one and it broke so all I have is just one little sad bowl but I found these bowls in home sense and I love how it's all like tarot themed we got we got moths moons potions crystal ball like I I really love the sketchy like scratchy kind of drawing and then we have on the outer like the uh, the inverted color of white to black with all the scratchy stars with moons I got two of those I try to find more couldn't find more but I think next time my mom and I go out for some shopping especially spooky related I want to go to the Maceville one because I haven't hit that yet I got this for my coffin shelf because I need more signs to draw people in to know what I'm catering to 
So I thought this was appropriate and it just says let's get spooky. I might even paint around here like purple just to go cohesive or paint the outer a lilac shade so it, you know again stays cohesive with my table. Now this is a big deal because I love these bags. I think they're adorable and they're just so perfect for mystery bags especially Halloween themed but they had new designs and I just I couldn't say no. Um, last year I bought a bunch of these ones and I have um, ones that are white with pump white pumpkins and then I've got a bunch of these. I feel like I have another set that's just like black and orange with pumpkins. I'm not sure. I don't think so but I only was able to get like this and the other one. I love the size and I love how it's very strong and you get like 15 in a pack. So when I went there today, they actually had two or three new designs and I'm like, I need them. So the one design is I got this set. I don't think it's by Home Sensor Marshalls, but we've got Frankenstein, we've got pumpkins, and if you flip it, there is actually ghosts. So that's great for just strictly traditional Halloween mystery bags I like to make. Uh, this can fit to both, mostly Halloween, but I could put in some pastel things in it. I don't know, but I ended up getting this cute Halloween theme donut bag. Third design, I only found one pack, but I'm hoping to find more. And it's this like Halloween gnome. Like one's holding a black cat, and then we've got this one that's holding like a little cauldron. It's just like leaking and we've got pumpkins and then there's just, it's just a repetitive pattern and I think that's super cute. Um, I'm gonna try not to use as much of that, but yeah, it's just, it, it looks great. I don't think these were out last year. I could be wrong and I could have just missed out, but I got two packs because you get half and half. Um, I end up getting like mini Halloween themed bags to do like kitty Halloween mystery bags. So we've got six of the orange ones because it's a set of 12 and then we get six of the black ones. So and then I bought another pack of this and then there's another pack of the donuts. So I'm I am freaking set for bags for mystery bags for my tables. Um yeah that's it for my haul I think. I think that's everything. Yay! I'm pretty sure that's everything. So, um, if you guys like this video of day two of my 31 Days of Halloween Challenge pastel, and I guess traditional Halloween edition, please give this video a nice like. And if you want to follow me and my social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box as well. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to see further content of the 31 Days of Halloween Challenge and other content I'll be like throwing randomly out there of the month of October and as always guys thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in tomorrow's video take care bye